Jill has uh, just asked me the question of thinking we should capture this on tape of what it's like to uh, live with an artist in the uh, some of our history. It's uh, fascinating having had 32 and a half seconds preparation, but I'm, I'm pleased to share my some of my thoughts. It has been um, a fascinating life. Jill and I met now 40, three years ago, uh, so a long time. We've, we've been married since um, uh, 1974, I did get it right, and uh, so celebrating our, our 40th anniversary coming up. And it's been uh, fascinating to see the, uh, the development and, and transition we've gone through over the years. Uh, I worked in the business sector uh, financial sector in the early years as Jill was then starting to develop her art. We took some time in Europe and she really painted all the time. And since we moved out to uh, Salt Spring, she's been a professional artist and we've had our different galleries. Um, living with an artist is always an exciting time. It's flamboyant and uh, uh, and flexible, I guess, would be a, a quality that I think is uh, required in doing this. But it's been exciting to see the development of her art. It's been wonderful to uh, m greet so many people in the gallery and, and meet people of all different uh, persuasions who come around to having a real passion for Jill's art and as a guy uh, I mean I've always been fascinated seeing couples come in the gallery and they would make a comment at the front door to me that oh, we have very different tastes in art and they would each head off in different directions and by the time they got to the far side of the gallery which used to take a while because we had a large gallery um, they would then go well wow this is really nice. I like this. And, and they would both come together for their own reasons and found that they really related uh, to Jill's art. And I found that very gratifying um, on behalf of Jill that people would uh, connect with her art in that way. And I think that's important when one thinks of collecting the art. It it is nice if you can have uh, create, come to a personal connection, a heart connection with it. And I really see that with Jill's. And I talk, of course, to people all the time who come back, have collected Jill's art. I saw a lady yesterday in the gallery, I hadn't even told Jill, and she commented about having, I think it was eight or ten of her paintings in her house and how she just loved them and they made her feel good uh, every time she was able to look at them. And I responded to her that with the world as it is right now, I think those are really nice qualities to have. If a painting can uplift your spirit and give you uh, a warm connection, that's really wonderful. And it's wonderful to have that on your own wall and it's wonderful to be able to share that with family and friends. And we've seen that more and more with the variety of Jill's paintings that she has, that um, families will use that to connect with their own family members and friends um, and, and share that, that warmth around. So, uh, it, so it's been quite wonderful. Did I answer your question, Jill? <laughs> Day to day. <laughs> oh, day to day. Yeah, it's been it's been fascinating day to day. I mean, we're we're like every other family. Um, you know, go right. No, I want to go left, or go right, you know, do this or do that. Uh, so it's always a challenging experience. But uh, artists are very uh, flamboyant and uh, inspiring. So it's been. Uh, a wonderful journey and I've been pleased to uh, to be on this journey for so many years. Next question. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, no more questions. At any rate, I hope I'm I'm sure you'll in, you are enjoying Jill's art, and uh, we're enjoying sharing it with you. And uh, with all, I'm the techie person on it. I just did a, a video talking about Jill's iPad book. Um, I look forward to doing more of those things because I believe that does help with uh, building this personal connection. That it's. It's one thing to see the the art and you interpret that in your own way and make a connection with it. My sense is it's helpful for all of us to hear the story that uh, behind the paintings that Jill has, the inspirations that she's had and developed into her art. And it's helpful for us all to give us a context in which to view uh, her art and I know uh, people seem to relate really well to that and I'm going to try to do more of that with the website to uh, include more of her stories and do videos like this but with me on the other side of the camera and, and Jill out front here so enjoy I'll be behind the camera on your behalf so you can email me any questions you have that you want me to ask that would be a good session eh? to have you ask the questions and I'll interview Jill Thanks very much. Bye.